Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got the new release from Clearly Pesotti to share with you. The new set's released today, that's the 1st of August 2022 at 8pm at British Summer Time. You can purchase the sets as one big bundle which is exclusive to Clearly Pesotti. So that's all of the sets plus free gifts and a 15% discount off of the price as well. But you can also purchase the set separately from Clearly Pesotti and also selected retailers and I'll have a list of those in the description bar on YouTube and also over on my blog. So as I usually do I'm going to share the new release with you and also the samples that I have made as a design team member. So it's kind of like an autumnal release this month, really uh, beautiful. So the first set here is Fall Corners, such a beautiful set. So you've got the two corner images here Kind of one there with the mushrooms the toadstools whatever you want to call them and the little gnome sitting there at the bottom and then this one here with the sunflowers really very pretty you've got two separate images as well I'm not sure if this is a little mouse I think it's a mouse and <laughs> um, with the sunflower there and then also the gnome with the mushroom as well and then you've got a small little um, separate mushroom some fun sentiments things like you're a fun guy and um, there's nobody like you and um, I have so much room in my heart for you some kind of punny sentiments really very cute so this is the card that I made using that set. I stamped out the image there with the toadstools and the little gnome, coloured that with Copic markers, fussy cut that out, and then added it onto a card base, which I'd done a little bit of distress inking just in the corner and added some white paint splatters just for some added interest, and then heat embossed that sentiment there. And I know a few people have had a little bit of a problem um, kind of reading the sentiment it does take a little while to kind of relook at it and go oh it's a fun guy um not a fun you're not calling someone a mushroom for example <laughs> so yeah um but just a cute cute set Next up is the Floating Feathers set. This is so, so pretty and I think really good for lots of different occasions. Very good for kind of encouragement cards in particular, I think. So there's all these critters here flying away on their really beautiful large feathers. And then there's a background image here with some clouds and then kind of feathers floating in the clouds as well. Some lovely sentiments, hope your dreams come true. Feathers appear when angels are near, which is so, so pretty. And um, spread your wings and fly just a really beautiful set this is the card that I made using that set I kept it really quite simple I stamped out the background clouds with some contour ink which is kind of like a no line ink so it's really really pale gray and then I colored in the clouds with Copic markers to try and get like a no line look and then I stamped out I think he's a dog he's absolutely adorable but I'm not 100% sure I think he's a dog I colored him as a dog anyway and then I um, coloured obviously the feather with the purples and the aquas and then stamped out the sentiment there as well and just added a few iridescent bubbles just for kind of like a floaty sort of airy card Next up is the plushies assemble set such a cute set so there's all of these kind of characters here or their critters I should say and then dressed up as characters in their character costumes and then you've got kind of like a skyline image here I think this would work really well with lots of different um, images as well and then some fun sentiments like super dad um, you're super you're my hero you're my star so really fun set I didn't get a chance to use it this month but it is really really fun Next up is the Ring Around Fall set. So there's two beautiful images here. There's the sunflowers and then the wreath there with sunflowers and mushrooms and um, all kind of autumnal leaves and things. Really very pretty. Some lovely sentiments that you can mix and match. So you've got things like um, grateful for you, um, you bring sunshine to my life, um, sending sunshine, <laughs> you are my sunshine. Um, yeah, just lots of different combinations that you can make, which is really nice. Um, or some of them you can just use on your on their own as well. So really pretty set that I think will work really well with different critters, or you can just use them separately. I think they just look beautiful as is. I did actually make two cards using this set, but I'm gonna share one now and then I'll share one a little bit later. 
So this is the card that I made with that set to start with. So I simply just stamped out the sunflowers, coloured those with Copic markers. It might be a little bit difficult to see here on camera, but I just did some kind of dots of Copic markers for the background with the blue. I wanted to kind of represent like a sky or something like that but I didn't want it to be solid and so dots are quite good for that uh, purpose if you wanted to kind of show something there but not quite uh, solid which is nice and then I just uh, heat embossed the sentiment there I just did simply for you um, I just thought it was quite pretty and a nice card that I could send to lots of different people for different occasions Next up is the Jump and Fall set, so a really fun set. You can have the animals kind of jumping in the leaves there for autumn. There is different um, animals or critters, whatever you want to call them, um, like the one here with the sunflower and then one sitting on top of the pumpkin. They can be combined with the tree. You could have the little birds inside of the tree, which is absolutely adorable. I think these birds are so, so cute. There's a little bird's nest as well. So you could create some really fun scenes with this set. I didn't go down that route, but I think it would be really fun to create scenes with. And so lots of sentiments again. Thank you. Thanks so much you're great sending love thanks a lot take care miss you so perfect again for lots of different occasions i decided to create uh, two tags today um i really love these images and i wanted to just kind of use as many as possible um, but i didn't want to create kind of like a busy scene so I thought they would work really nicely on tags. I did some distress inking in the background um, with distress inks, obviously. And then I also used the Cloudy Day stencil um, from Clearly Bzotted for the clouds and just added a little bit of green there to kind of represent the grass at the bottom. I heat embossed the sentiments on black cardstock. And these birds, like I said, are just absolutely adorable. So I had to use a few of those along with the little bears, the one on the pumpkin and then one holding the sunflower there. And then last but not least is the Balloon Bunch Autumn set. So another really fun set. Like with the other Balloon Bunch sets, the balloons are actually kind of themed. So this one here is autumnal and fall. So you've got like a pumpkin balloon. You've got the kind of um, balloon there um, with leaves. And um, I'm trying to think of the name of these things off the top of my head. And I really can't remember. My, my mind's gone blank, but you'll know what I mean. And then, oh, acorns, that's what they're called. <laughs> and then the leaves there as well. So all of these um, animals can be kind of flying on the balloons and then there's also kind of like a landscape here with the trees as well so that's kind of like the intention of the set but you can use it in so many different ways um karen on the design team actually kind of cut off the balloon strings and created a wreath using the balloons which is absolutely amazing so it shows that you can use them in lots of different ways i did go a different route as well i just used one of the cute little foxes here because i just thought he was adorable we've got the little hedgehog there the bunny the squirrel and the raccoon so so cute again some sentiments they're kind of punny. I think you're wonderful and um, belief in yourself and um, falling for you. And then you've just got some like happy birthday. Yay. Um, kind of things as well. So a really fun set that you can do lots of different things with. I decided to combine it with the ring around full set. So I created a wreath there and then had the little fox inside. So I stamped the fox first, masked him off with masking paper and then I stamped out the wreath on top so that when you remove the masking paper, it looks like he's sitting inside the wreath. I mean, he's absolutely tiny, as you can see, compared to the size of the wreath. But I just thought he was so, so cute. And I thought he worked quite nicely on the wreath there. Coloured it all with Copic markers, fussy cut them out and just popped it onto a card base there is some scoring lines on the card base but it's always difficult to see in photos and in videos as well but just stamped out the sentiment there and heat embossed that and just added that on top I thought it would make a cute kind of autumnal birthday card so that is a look at the new release from Clearly Besotted for August 2022 links to the products that I shared will be listed in the description bar on YouTube and also over on my blog but the links to the Clearly Besotted store do not go live until 8 p.m. British summer time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.